Assalamu alaikum class 4 I hope you all are fine and doing well at home Before starting our today topic we have to recall our previous one So I am please tell me what is our previous topic Yes we have start our new chapter which is programming languages Can we write a program in low level language? No. Can we write a program in low high level language class? Yes, we write a program in high level language. But computer first convert the high level programs into machine acceptable language which is low level language. And then start working on user's instructions. Yes, we give the instruction to computer in English language. It means it is a high level language. Computer or compilers and interpreters. These are the hardware devices which convert the high level language into machine accept acceptable language which is low level language. And then start working on human or user's instructions. So we have discuss three basic steps of programming language. Zareen, can you please tell me what are the these three steps? Yes, the first step is algorithm. Hmm. The first step is algorithm. Hmm. What is the second step? Zaha, please tell me what is the second step of programming language? Good. The second step is flowchart. What is the third step? Iman. Yes, the third step is block diagram. So 
सो कैन बुरहान कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी वट इज एलवर्थम येस एलवर्थम इज एन ऑर्गेनाइज सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट टेल्स अस वट टू डू स्टेप बाई स्टेप basically algorithm is a step by step instructions or organized set of instructions that tell us what to do step by step and algorithm is an organized set of instructions organized organized set of instructions that tells us what to do step by step basically algorithm is a step by step procedure that tells us what to do next basically algorithm are the organized set of instructions which tells us or users that what we have to do next so what is flow chart arsalan arsalan bahu can you please tell me what is flow chart yes flow chart is basically the visual representation of data we use some diagrams in flow chart we use some diagrams for flow chart for example if we are solving some problems so we use two types of diagrams first is first shape is this which is used to start or end the program and for instruction or data to take the input from user to show the output or to show the result for our processing we use rectangle shape why we need a flow chart can anyone tell me anaya anaya imran Yes, please tell me why we use flow chart. Yes, it flow chart make it easier to understand the algorithm and find the errors in the sequence of steps. Basically, we need a flow chart or we need to draw a flow chart to find the error in the algorithm. If we have any error in algorithm, so we are going to draw the flow chart of this algorithm. so the word we use for flow chart is visual representation of data visual representation and used to find the errors in algorithm second point for flow chart is used to find the errors in flow chart is the visual representation of data and used to find the errors in algorithm we use two types of diagrams in flow chart first is oval shape which is used to start or end the program and rectangle shape is used to take the input from user to print the data or to or for or for processing If we want to take the input from user, we use the rectangle shape input. We use rectangle shape. If we want to process the data, 
processing, we use rectangle shape and if we want to show the result, after processing we use the rectangle shape. Just to start and end the program, we use oval shape and write the start and end. It means we are starting a program and we are going to end the program. Now we are going to move our next point which is block diagram. Can anyone tell me what is the meaning and the word you understand from block? Yes, block means we are using a block in our block diagram. And blocks are linked with different lines. We can relate the block diagram with our math lesson. Same as factory tree. Block diagram same as factory tree diagram, which we have learned in our in our first term exams. In our first term syllabus. First we have we have find the number. Um, we have find the factors of the numbers, then start making it as trees like this. Uh, for example, 12. And we have to find out the factors of 12, which is 2, then 6. Again, 2 divided by 6 is 3, then 3. Now we are going to draw the block diagram of 12 is. In factor tree diagram, we use number 12. And start finding the factors of 12. And the factor of 12 is 2, 6. Because 2, 6 times 12, 2, 3. Because 3, 2 times 6 and 2, 3 times 6, 3, 1 times 3. So these are the factors of 12. 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 which is equal to 12. These are the factors which we are drawn as 12. 2 multiply by 6. 6. 2. Basically this is the root. Then 2 and 3. This is the factor tree diagram. Same like block diagram because these steps, all the steps or all the members of the tree are linked together with the connectors. With the connectors or lines. Basically block diagrams are connected by arrows to show the relationship between them are called block diagram. Block diagram are blocks, block diagram or blocks are connected by arrows. We in fact we are going to use the arrows. Same like this and this. We read the table of 2. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Same as it is, all the blocks are connected by arrows and they are linked together to show the relationship between them. In block diagram, we use block and arrows to show the relationship between them. Block diagram. We draw blocks. Draw arrows. To show the relationship. To show the relationship. between blocks uh, yeah, or maybe blocks are connected in our math example we draw circles or inside the 12 and write the 12 inside the circle write 6 inside the circle write 3 inside the circle but in block diagram we draw blocks now class we are going to move the 
to draw the block diagram of our school. For example, our school is based Dr. Nasheen. Now we are going to draw the block of Dr. Nasheen. Dr. Nasheen is linked with teachers. So, teachers are very much assigned to coordinators and vice principals. Who is our vice principal class? Yes, Miss Tanya. And who is our coordinator? Then teachers and students, then books, they are linked together. Then we draw a block. Teachers. Students. Books. All these members are linked with each other's Miss Dr. Machines linked with Mr. Bush, Miss Bushra, Miss Tanya, teachers, students and books. All these members are linked with it together. Now class, I am giving you the homework to draw a block diagram. Just draw the blocks means rectangle shapes or blocks and start link, linking with each other and your homework is draw your family tree using a block diagram. Who is the first member of your family or biggest family member of your family? Maybe your grandfather or grandmother. Then draw the block diagram of your grandmother or grandfather that link with, link it with your mother and your father. Then start again start drawing the blocks and link it with your brothers and sisters. So your homework is draw your family tree using a block diagram on page number 58. So your homework is draw homework draw your family tree by using block diagram. Yes, class. Now I am taking to review the classes. Yes, how many types of language? Hmm, there are two types of language. First is high level language and second is low level language. How many steps of programming language has? Yes, there are three steps of programming language. First is algorithm, second is flowchart and third is block diagram. So my next question is from Arsalan, can you please tell me in what step or what is the name of step in which we draw visual representation of data? Yes, in flow chart we show the representation or visual representation of data. Which step we, we follow to find the Harrison algorithm? Hmm, we use flowchart to find out the errors in algorithm. Prima, can you please tell me what is block diagram? 
Yes, basically block diagram is a tree, factory tree diagram. Factory tree diagram, we use blocks. We use blocks and arrows to show the connection between the blocks. Who is the biggest member or elder member of your family? Maybe your mother, maybe your father or maybe your grandfather. So, first we draw a block, then start connecting it with your father and your mother. Then start connecting it with your brothers and sisters. Maybe your aunt, maybe your uncles are also related to you. So, please draw the blocks of these members. If you find any difficulty, so please you can text me on the WhatsApp group. Stay home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.